I am going to discuss on the topic dentition in mammals. Teeth are present in all mammals and they are modified and specialized depending on the food and feeding habits. The adult platypus bears epidermal teeth, but no true tooth present in that particular category. In echidna or spiny anteater, the teeth are absent in all stages of life. The arrangement of the teeth in the upper jaw and lower jaw that is uh, known as dentition. The dentition in mammals varies according to their feeding habit. And teeth are developed partly epidermis and partly from underlying dermis. What is the structure of a uh, typical uh, tooth? A typical mammalian tooth is distinguished mainly into two regions. That is the crown region and that is a root region. The part of the tooth that is above the root and ultimately a subject to air that is known as a crown and the root region that is hidden be, uh, below the gum and usually anchored to a jaw bone. The junction of the crown and root that is a small portion that is known as neck. The tooth encloses a, a cavity that is a pulp cavity that contains blood vessels, nerves and connective tissue. The pulp cavity is lined by a layer of bone cells that is known as odontoblast. The crown of the tooth is covered by thin, very hard, glistering layer. That layer is enamel. That is a very hard structure. Enamel is composed of crystal of hydroxyapatite and totally acellular. Below the enamel, a hard dermal bony substance layer present that is known as dentin. It is harder than bone, but softer than enamel. The neck and the root are covered by a thin layer that is known as uh, cement. Cement is a non-vascular bone and usually acellular. It is softer than dentin and is rich in collagenous fiber. The part of teeth developed from the ectoderm that is known as the enamel and the remaining part, dentin, cement and pulps that are formed from the adjacent mesodermal tissue. And what are the function of the teeth? Primary function is to grasp and hold the prey or food into the mouth, modified to serve as a grinding meal for chewing food, serve as a weapon for offense and defense purpose by working as tearing organ. Now the teeth are classified uh, by several modes. Uh, on the basis of their attachment, the teeth are uh, three categories. Acrodon, pleurodont, and thecodon. The acrodon type, the teeth have no roots and directly fuse to the underlying jaw bones. That is found in the fishes, amphibians, and some reptiles. That is not found in the mammals. The pleurodont, that is attached to the inner side of the jaw bone. The tooth touches the bone only with the outer surface of its roots, and that is found in nectarous and some other reptiles. And the thecodont, uh, that type uh, is a rule among the mammals and the teeth are lost in the bony socket, that is a bony socket, or alveoli of the jawbone. Capillaries and nerves enter the pulp cavity through the open tips of the hollow roots. Now, on the basis of replacement and succession, the teeth are categorized as monophyodon, diphyodon, and polyphyodon. Monophyodon uh, that is found in some mammals, only one set of teeth develops in their lifetime. That is found in some rodents and certain insectivores. Uh, in diphyodons, uh, the mammals uh, have two sets. The first temporary set that is known as milk teeth, all lacteal teeth, or deciduous teeth. And that are lost or replaced by second set of teeth that is known as permanent teeth. In bats and guinea pigs, the milk teeth are lost even before birth. In milk teeth, the molars are absent. And the last one, polyphyodon, the teeth are replaced continuously throughout the life. And most lower vertebrates, uh, such as dogfish, and uh, also found in some uh, snakes, the polyphyodon teeth. Now the teeth are classified according to the shape and size. Homodont and heterodont. Homodont, that is a teeth are similar in shape and that is found in the dolphin. But as the heterodont, uh, that is the usual feature of the mammals, the teeth are distinguished according to their shape, size, and function. In heterodont dentition, 
the teeth are differentiated as incisor, canine, premolar. These are the incisor in case of human that are the canine, that are the premolars and that are the molars. Now the first one incisors, uh, they are situated anteriorly on the premaxilla in the upper jaw and the tips of the dentaries in the lower jaw. Each incisor has a horizontal cutting edge and a, a single root. They are conical and single rooted and they are the monocuspid. They are used for cutting or cropping purpose. Incisors are best developed in herbivorous mammals. They may be conical spine-like for holding insects or flesh or for cutting a plant stem. Incisors of the rodents and logomorphs are exceptionally sharp and powerful. Incisors may be totally absent in sloth. Incisors are absent on upper jaw in bovines, also absent in the lower jaw in case of the vampire bat, and elephant tusk that are the modified incisors and that are made up of the solid dentine. That is an incisor, that is the root portions, that is a horizontal cutting edge, and the root is single. Now the canines. Canines lie immediately behind the incisor and in front of the premolar. They are spike-like, long crown with a single root and they are used for parsing and tearing the face of the prey. Sometimes the canines are used in holding the prey, mainly uh, found in carnivorous mammals. In general, mammalian dentition, incisors and canines are hardly differed in morphological appearance. The canine are always one in one number, if not reduced or lost. In rodents and lagomorphs, the canine is absent. So the space in between incisors and perimolar, that is known as diastema. In horses, the canines are relatively small. In uh, flesh-eating carnivores, such as dog, tigers, and lions, the canines are best developed become spear separate and used for parsing and tearing the place. In walrus, the tusks are modified form of the canine. Now the premolar. After canine, a series of premolars have two roots. The premolars are used for grinding the food materials. They are generally uh, varying and they are number two to four in number. The premolars are the most mammals other than ungulates have two prominent cars hence that is known as bicuspid. When the general shape and structure of the premolars assume to molar lights that are known as molar form. Now the last one molars, all non-deciduous teeth of the first generation that are known as molars. Molar lie behind the premolars. They have two or more roots and several casts. A typical number three that's known as a tricuspid and they are used for crossing uh, food. Premolars and molars are collectively called uh, cheek teeth. In carnivores, the number of cheek teeth is often reduced and in some cases, uh, last upper premolar and first molar in lower jaw modified and they form chisel separate sharp cast that is known as carnesial teeth. And that is used for cracking bones and shearing tendons. The molars are located that are on each jaw of the man that are called the wisdom teeth and its eruption is often delayed. Now, on the basis of caste pattern of cheek teeth, uh, several category of the teeth are found, trichonodon, tributiculate, uh, bunodon, lophodon, secodon, selenodon, brachiodon, hispodon, etc., etc. The molar contains many cast on their surface that are the uh, cusp, uh, positions. The cusp were uh, raised, tiny structure or ridges on the occlusal surface. The cusp are called cones. Depending on the number and shape of cusp, molars are recognized in different names. Among uh, fossil mammals, there are two categories, trichonodon and trituberculate. Uh, in case of the trichonodons, the molar poses three cones or cusp arranged in anterior posterior lines and that is found in the fossil Mesozoic mammals such as Trichonodon. And another category, Tritubercule, the molars contain three cones or tubercles arranged in the form of a uh, triangle and that is found among 
fossil mesozoic mammals and depending upon the feeding habit and type of food taken the premolars and molars of recent eutherians have undergone changes and uh, the shape and the chief teeth are recognized uh, by Buonodon, Lophodon, Secodon, Selenodon, Bacchidon, Hypsodon, etc., etc. Uh, so, what is a Buonodon? Uh, that's that's the category is a Buonodon. In mammals with a mixed diet, the cast tend to become low and rounded, forming hillock on the crown. That is known as Buonodon. In man and in some omnivore mammals, the cheek teeth are Buonodon type. And they are used in grinding the food material. Uh, in the uh, lophodon type, the cusp are joined to form ridges or lobes. The tooth are called the lophodon. The cheek teeth of elephant are of lophodon type. There is an intricate folding of enamel and dentine, and this type of the teeth are used to grind all sorts of plants and grasses. Then uh, secodon type. Uh, that is a secodon type when the cheek teeth are with sharp cutting crowns that are called the secodon. And this condition of the teeth is placed in interstitial carnivores. These teeth possess cutting edges and are used for cutting and sharing the place. Then uh, selenodon type, that is a selenodon. Uh, cheek teeth with a crescent separate cast are, are known as selenodons in ruminants and horses. Uh, that's under the category of the parasodactyla. Uh, the teeth are selenodon type and specialized for grinding the plant matter. And then uh, brachydon type. Uh, in, in, in brachydon type, uh, there is a short, the tooth uh, with a short crown and uh, comparatively long root that is called the brachydon. Whereas the hypsodon, the crown is the high. In case of the brachydon, crown is low and the root is long. Whereas hypsodon, the crown is high and the roots is very short and open type. And hypsodon, uh, tooth that is found in the horse and the incisor of the elephant, whereas the brachydon that is found in the man. Now, uh, the teeth of the mammals are modified on the basis of the food and fooding habits. Among herbivorous mammals, the food consists of mainly grasses and plant materials, and that require long mastication for digestion. In artiodactyls, the grinding teeth possesses broad crown, complicated by ridges and folds of hard enamel. Premolars are not used for grinding purposes. Among uh, ruminants, the incisors of the upper jaw are lost and the canine teeth are rudimentary or absent. The incisors and canines of the lower jaw are present and are used for grass cropping apparatus. The cheek teeth of ruminants and horses are the selenodon types. In male uh, mux deer, the upper canine is projected downward uh, from the mouth and from the characteristic uh, mux tool. Rodents have no canines, only incisors are used for gnawing, scrapping, and nibbling purpose. The incisors are sharp and chisel separate, used for cutting purposes. Enamels are absent on the posterior surface of the incisor. As a result, the body of the incisors wears quickly. Elephants have lost all canine teeth and all the incisors except the second pair in the upper jaw, which have developed into tusk. The jaw have six hypsodon molars in its jaw and are used for grinding teeth. Out of six, only two molars, only two molars remain functional at a time. In horses, all the cheek teeth are hypsodon with crescent separate cast that is known as selenodon used for grinding purposes. Now, in case of the uh, carnivorous mammals, the canines are large, sharp, and pointed, which are used for tearing purposes. And incisors are passed into the body of the victim. These teeth are supported by a powerful jaw muscles. Incisors and canines are used for seizing, holding, and biting purpose. Most of the carnivorous mammals possesses carnesial teeth, the last upper premolar and the first lower molar together form a sharp chisel separate structure that is known as a carnesial teeth and that is used for the cutting the place. These carnesial teeth act against each other just like the blades of a pair of incisor. 
in walrus, the upper canine teeth are developed into a downward uh, structure that is used for digging for, for bivalves. And omnivorous uh, mammals, the, which consume mixed diet, including vegetables and meat, the cheek teeth of these mammals are duodenal types. The cast on the uh, cheek teeth remain separate. And a rounded type, the incisors are used for cutting the food material. They have brought down many cast molars. The molars are designed to cut the flesh and to grind the vegetable matter. In aquatic mammals, uh, Cetacea pinnipeds and sea cow are aquatic in nature. The sea cow have teeth which are greatly reduced in size. They are grazers and teeth are little used. The well developed lips are used for grazing purpose. The pinnipeds have teeth which have laterally compressed cones and three casts in a row, which helps to prevent escape of the slippery prey. Cetaceans have uh, two groups. One group uh, that consists of the bone whales, mystici, and the tooth whale, that is the odontocity. Tooth whales have homodontite teeth. The teeth are used to hold the prey. And bone whales, that is a mysticity, the teeth are completely absent. Instead, transversely arranged triangular plates of keratin hang from the roof of the mouth, that is called the baleen. And the number of the plates is about 300 and varies in color in different species. The outer surface of the baleen is smooth and straight, but inner surface has a hairy fringe to trap the food when water is expelled. And these plates help to stain the minute uh, planktonic food. Among insectivorous mammals, uh, such as moles, shrew, the upper and lower incisor, meet precisely for efficient capturing of small prey-like insects. Now, <clears throat> what is the dental formula? Dental formula expresses the number of each type of teeth in each half of the jaw, both upper and lower, in a succinct fashion. And the dental formula is number of the teeth on one half of the upper jaw and number of the teeth on the one half of the lower jaw. And typical primitive eutherian mammals that causes 44 teeth and that is expressed as incisor three by three, canine one by one, premolar four by four and molar three by three. Or simply as three, one, four, three by three, one, four, three. So the total number of the teeth is 44. Among monotrips, and tachyglossus does not possess teeth at any stages. The adult platypus bears no teeth. In marsupials, the milk dentition persists except the last premolar. In adult marsupials, the number of incisors in the upper and the lower jaw always varies except in the burrowing ombats. Here, uh, the dental formula uh, uh, provided uh, in case of the kangaroo, the teeth is uh, 34, uh, there's an uh, incisor, uh, three canine, one a premolar two and the molar four. Uh, in case of the horses and pig, the three one four three by three one four three total number is forty four. In case of the bat, thirty two. In case of the old wall monkey, uh, that's a we are the old wall monkey at two one two three. That's a number is a thirty two. Whereas the new wall monkey, that is a two one three three. That is a number of the thirty six. In case of the cat, the number is thirty. In case of the dog and bear, the number is forty two. These are the reference books. Analysis of the vertebrate structure, Hildebrand. Comparative anatomy of the vertebrates, cane and car. Vertebrates, comparative anatomy, functional evolution, cardam, elements of chorded anatomy, white card, and face. Thank you, everybody.